Hi Dream Reavers, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and I'm back with a, another video. So for those of you who are new here, thank you for stumbling across my part of the YouTube universe. I post new videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday all about witchcraft, magic, law of attraction, spirituality and everyday life thrown in for good measure. So, without further ado, let's get into this video, which is one of my favourite types of videos, which I love. You get those, these videos in abundance at this time of year, and it's the what I got for my birthday, what I got for my Christ, what I got for Christmas, what I got in sales, etc. This one's going to be a what I got for my birthday. So for those of you who don't know, I am a Sagittarius baby. My birthday's on 16th of December, so right before Christmas. So usually on this channel, I usually just tend to wait until after Christmas and then I film my birthday one and my Christmas one. So yeah, I'm rambling. It's what I do. Let's get into the video. So, Dreamweavers, we are back for a what I got for my birthday video. I love these types of videos. I just find them really fun and really just, just fun. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I had a birthday um, nearly two weeks ago and I just wanted to show you a, a few bits that I, that I got and thought that you might appreciate having a look because I love these type of videos but then I guess I'm super my super nosy I don't know do I feel like I'm a bit far away should I zoom in just a little bit I don't know let me fix the situation I feel like I kind of fixed the situation a little bit if you hear creaking it's just my bed is like super duper creaky but yeah so I thought we're friends let's get close so we're sort of a little bit a little bit closer just so I can show you myself a little better as well so I am gonna get started so I turned 33 just under two weeks ago and I got I was really blessed with my family and friends I got some really nice a uh, couple of really nice things this is only gonna be a short video so I've only really got a few things to show as I also got um gift card and like money gift card my uncle and like money from my nan so I will spend that, oh I've spent that, but I will show you that later on, but let's get into the video. So from my mother, uh, from my mom, also my dad is sending me a card and a check I believe, but from my mom I don't know how you can see that, is I really like Emma Mumford, I've had a few of her stuff before but I've not actually had her book yet, this is her first book spiritual queen a cosmic guide to show you how to say yes to yourself and yes to life and yes to your dreams so my mom got me this book so i'm really excited to uh read through read through this uh she also got me this that i've had on my wishes for a while by tamara laporte um it's create your life book mixed media art projects for expanding creativity and encouraging personal growth and i just the artwork is just stunning in this book and there's um different sort of thought provoking projects and things like that look at this i can't wait to try and recreate that i mean i'm not the best artist by any stretch of the imagination but i just really love this and I'd love to try and 
and it, it breaks it down on how to draw or how to depending on what you're trying to do and it's just really pretty and there's like each project has a theme so for project 11 which is you have wings transform and heal the inner critic so it has stuff like many of us were raised with critical parents and authorities around us. We often live through all sorts of criticism as children may have internalized these messages which pop up all over the places we go about our lives as adults. This internalized voice has even been given its own name. The inner critic is well-known character to many of us, particularly creative types. We often strongly dislike her or him and can easily feel paralyzed and intimidated intimidated by her messages what is this voice all about why is it here what's it trying to do how can we embrace or understand it and not let it stifle or paralyze us and look more deeply at the underlying messages it is trying clumsily to convey so you know, it's all about exploring the inner critic for this project and then it's the girl from the cover you learn how to draw her so i can't wait to do that so it was really nice and put that on the floor so it doesn't fall um she also got me i was after a nice black scarf for a while and this one i just love it's got all moons and stars on and it's really pretty and look oh, nice hung up as like a tapestry or something <coughs> so she got me that which i love she also got me this really cute shirt by a brand called D Daisy Street. I've had a few things of Daisy Street before. Um, and it's the peace sign and it's purple. With, um, the peace sign is made up of different flowers and it's just really cute. And I can see myself wearing that a lot. Uh, I've also been hit in the gym quite hard lately. So she got me some uh, workout pants nice just black and stretchy with the sort of pink along the bottom they'll be super comfy she got me can't even see now um one of my favorite brands kiki k uh they actually for boot at uh, boots this year they had some uh kiki k sets so this set is the your dreams are waiting nighttime reflections Re yeah reflections set so i like the packaging as well it's just super super cute and i love kiki k so i don't think you can see it that well i think the light is kind of a bit better uh so there is a inspiration to strike at any time a little notebook a pen time to unwind pillow mist and a sleep mask and it's in a really pretty lavender color as well and yeah, she's also given me some money to uh, buy some things in sales and stuff, which is super sweet. So yeah, she got me some really nice things. Uh, my sister, my sister actually made me, I, 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 um, she had a table and she's actually made it. So I'm going to have like another altar. She's um, really, really talented. She did different colors, like um, purples and blues like a different sort of like a dip dye effect on this table she painted it all hand painted it and everything she also hand painted moon the moon phases on it and it looks really beautiful um it's at my sister's house at the moment as i need to try and find some space for it so uh, i forgot to take a picture of it at the time so i'm gonna get her so she's gonna take a photo for me and send it me so i will either insert it into the video or it will be in the thumbnail so you can see but it's really really stunning she also hand made me this from scratch this pentacle it's i can't wait to hang it up i gotta find someone nice to hang it uh she bought the reef but and she, it is plain reef and she bought twine and it was really thin twine so she had to make it thick enough she interwove flowers in it and it's just it's really really pretty i absolutely love it so it's gonna hang, have pride in place hung up somewhere really nice in my room it's amazing i really love it oh another little present i forgot from my mom which is really cute I need to find somewhere cute to put that i have a few of these different ones the um brand watch over voodoo and this one is the forever friend it's like on a little dog tag type thing you can either hook it on your keys or i've got which one i've got quite a few um so this one is life brings many things but the bond between mother and daughter is something special so it's really cute so i really like that 
so I'm going to find somewhere really cute to hang that. And then also from my sister, which I absolutely love, I need to find somewhere, somewhere special for this. Uh, I'm going to get it out the box. Um, I don't know, she got it online somewhere, not sure about what the brand is, but it's handmade and she got in the box she got them to put uh this is blessed be my beautiful sister which is really sweet and it is just a if i can get it out can i get it out it's just a beautiful key ring oh how far is in frame it's a beautiful keyring that has a so hard to see it has my birthstone a little witch and a K and it's just got a lobster claw on the top just a cute little delicate delicate silver keychain and it's just absolutely stunning I love it and it's just so sweet and thoughtful so I don't I'm not gonna hook it on my I'm not gonna hook it on my like car keys or anything so sort of always coming out in and out of my bag and getting thrown about and stuff and I don't want it to get damaged so I may hook it to my planner or something I haven't really I haven't really decided yet but yeah so it was really I really loved that I thought it was really really nice and then also as well I had loads of really nice messages from people on my birthday and stuff which was really sweet that people like took the time out of their day to like message me and wish me happy birthday and yeah it meant a lot I had a nice birthday um it was a different birthday this year what with the um everything going on like with the pandemic and stuff like that at the moment it was a very um interesting birthday as normally I would go to the movies on my birthday but movie theatres in England anyway they're closed till next year um and I'd usually go out for food but with restaurants and stuff it's a bit bit dicey so I sort of just stayed in and relaxed and then I went to my sister's in the evening and had a really nice time I had some food a really nice like um cake and yeah, if you go onto my Instagram, which is in the bio, you can see me blowing out the candles on my cake. Everyone's singing happy birthday, which was really nice. And I had a, just had a really fun evening. And yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was nice. Oh, and I also forgot that this is from my niece and nephew. My nephew's only a baby, so my niece, she had to make this. It's just a really pretty vintage photo frame with a stand at the back. I don't know how well you can see she actually chose out the crystals and she used the hot glue gun and positioned the crystals and glued them down and there's a few photos of us inside so that's a really so that's really nice so I'm gonna stick it somewhere and treasure it forever and yeah so that is everything that I got for my birthday uh, I'd love to know what you you should get for your birthday also as well if you have a birthday in December or nearby I'd love to find my birthday to it and that would be super awesome but yeah so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah. I'm such an idiot I completely forgot it's because I got presents and stuff that I've got all over the floor in my room but I forgot I also got a candle making kit for my birthday from my mom as so I'm really excited to start making candles as I wanted that to be one of my offerings on my website so key stay tuned for that so this has everything i need to make some candles i'm really excited about that yay